Welcome to jobskillshare.org. Today we are going to make part 7. Uh, if you're new to this video and the way I'm doing these videos for information sharing videos on IT, make sure you watch the first part. Uh, how to get it? Go to youtube.com, search jobskillshare, and you'll see the playlist uh, for this video that I'm creating right now. So let's get started. What are we going to talk about today? Today it's going to be information sharing video because by getting this information you will know probably much better than me showing you some tools and wasting time. This stuff is very important that you know the process. So my target today, who are my who am I talking to today? You're a student you want to know what IT security guys do you're more interested in security side of IT you're probably a system administrator you want to know what the PCI guys and when they come in scan your system they give you the information then what kind of tools they, do they use um, so then you can do some of your uh, things ahead of their scan and make your life easy now this video is probably directed towards people who are new to IT and this is not for someone who who are already experts probably they're doing better than me so this is more of information sharing so then it can help you because at one point you're going to be start searching about these things and this is why I wanted to make this video uh, more of talking today because th this is this is where it's going to help you so the key is you know me telling you the experience that you're going to come across if you come across this type of situation Wow, I'm making no sense right now, but let me just make make this clear. So let's get to our drawing, and please forgive me for my drawing. These are really bad drawing, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to accomplish here. So, uh, what happens? Let's say uh, you work for this company. Uh, this is the company right here, and what happens is that let's say you guys have. Uh, uh, service department and there's like 40 people work in that service department customer service department and you have a site like this so let's say this is a site and on this site what happens that your members all over the world they purchase uh, and use their credit card on this site so what happens that companies needs to be a PCI compliance now I'm not gonna go into details for PCI this is not a video, video for that but in just short and very easy terms your, comp your computers that and the connection between the site and the servers anywhere they are they need to be secure so your site needs to be secure your computers need to be secure so I'm not gonna talk about the site security today I'm just gonna talk about the internal security for you so it could be a switch it could be a router firewall uh, computers that people are using here for action center or customer service guys so why is why it's important why do they need to get we need to be secure because maybe someone is calling these people right now and on the phone they are taking a credit card information they're plugging that into this computer on the keyboard and then th that's why these computer needs to be secure or the servers that are connected to these computers they need to be secure I hope I made sense over here so the whole video of this uh, the purpose of this video is that you need to know how these scanning works uh, probably you may not be the person doing this maybe you are going to be the person doing this so that's why I wanted to discuss today so in reality what happens first of all you get a you get a job you know um, let's say you're an IT guy and you're a system administrator and your job is to secure your system and how do you know you need to do this first of all it's just a normal practice that you need to know how to secure systems but and another thing is that if this is something that is important like a PCI kind of stuff then what will happen is that another vendor uh, from PCI or someone from PCI team uh, uh, certified guys or some security company will say that okay we are going to scan your systems and then we'll tell you what's wrong with your systems and you will need to fix these issues and then we'll scan it again and then we'll say okay you fix the issues great uh, this can be a really headache you know if you don't know and this is why I'm making this video to make your life easy that uh, you can prepare yourself for this kind of stuff ahead of the time so it doesn't become a headache for you remember the main point is this that I'm sharing this information so it doesn't become a headache for you okay 
Now, this is a really confusing video, man. So what, what I'm going to do right now is to show you this. This is a real scanning here. So basically, uh, server first scan, you know, so I scanned it today. And what happens the same way another guy, a security guy, and a security analyst, uh, he's going to scan the system like this using some tools. Um, so then the result will come in and they will share the result with me. And the result says that your server is missing 147 uh, operating system patches. It could be more, missing third party patches over here. It could say, 20, 25, Adobe, Java, stuff like that. And this would this computer will become like a very critical machine that okay, this server is actually needs to be compliance, but it's not because look how many operating system patches it is missing. It could be missing more, but some are critical. That makes it a big difference. So if you go down a little bit, they will use probably tools like Nessus. There's a these are really famous tools that a lot of people use in in the PCI or scanning or IT guys in security. They know this stuff. So this is a software and cloud based and you just put the agent or maybe you can do it without agent but it tells you right here this computer have a six critical uh, issues and 73 high uh, issues right now so six critical means this needs to be a PCI compliance or they're not gonna make me compliance so why did I say that it's important for you to know this stuff because you could be working on one weekend and somebody assign you this stuff look we have a PCI guy coming in the, on the uh, next weekend and he's going to scan systems and uh, just work with him okay now if you don't know this stuff let me tell you what will happen he's going to give you the list like this when you click on this list it's gonna have a huge list where you need to fix things maybe I'll say IE needs to be upgraded uh, maybe I'll say you know your Java needs to be upgraded this needs to be done oh there's a, there's an issue with this software and uh, the the fix is that you need to go to the software company and download some fix from them a lot of manual work trust me you're gonna come across this if you're gonna be just that maybe a few you have few system administrators or you work for a company that you do a lot of this stuff then you're gonna be doing this stuff and it takes w way a lot of time if you don't know how to fix these things automatically and using some other tools and stuff like that it's gonna make your life a little harder when it comes to this point uh, like I said you may not be the person doing this stuff so don't worry about it just learn these things and and see if it can help you in uh, with your job at some point so then you get this list from them and you see okay I see the list now uh, another uh, way is going to be they might be using a different tool which is a uh, Greenborn security is another really good uh, vulnerability scanner and you can see right here in this my server is telling me that you have 64 critical issues because I probably did a very uh, deep scan on this. Deep scans and small scans, these are little differences in different applications. Uh, some are quick scans and you'll find out, okay, these are the critical issues you have. Some are very deep scans, so it checks your pores, every single thing, and then it say, okay, now we found more issues uh, and you have 64 critical issues. Now, like I said, it's going to become your job to fix this, right? So what happens? After fixing it, you should see something like this. You see there's no critical issue. There are some high and that needs to be that can be fixed manually also. And you see after applying more fixes and doing things, look at the number from 64 it came to 4 and then if you go down you can see right now more scanning done and now nothing is missing, no patches are missing and you will go down again. These are the machines, PCI machines were missing 6. After fixing it there's no uh fix found. Now, like I said, some of these things may not make sense to you but all I'm saying right here is that they will scan your system they will give you a report to your manager your manager will then give you the report to fix it so the whole point of this video is that if you know how to use these tools you can do it yourself all you have to do is to know these tools when you scan things you you got the report ahead of them and then now you know how to fix it you have more time you're not pressured you can do it maybe two days later you can do it on three days you can do it on weekend you can go out come back let the scan finish so what I'm saying is that it makes your life very easy and you understand things much better and you have more control uh, um, you know when you work with uh, scenarios like this so in reality these applications look like this uh, this is the sorry let me just go here 
yeah so one application look like this this is the greenborn security uh, if you want to learn about these applications like I said I did the scan on this machine and all that stuff if you want to learn uh, more about this uh, uh, softwares then go to jobscreenshare.org and take this course detect and respond to vulnerabilities this is where I show technically you know how to install this stuff and everything and some of these videos may be outdated so I need to update it that's my job I'll do it if you have a membership plus membership make sure you take this course this, like I said this is going to be very specific to people so if you're interested if you're not interested that's fine you just wait for uh, you know like I said I wanted to give this information to you just wait and then when someone gives you the report then you learn it that way also but I, like I said if you know the stuff ahead of the time it will save a lot of time for yourself so let me quickly show you the Nessus which is they call it Tenable now it used to be Nessus so you can see right here uh, this is the kind of report they also get and you see how many oh I have critical 18 critical issues right now I need to fix it and then in this video course I showed another system which is called patch management system and then you basically what you do is when you have all these issues in front of you then you start deploying these patches to machines and everything is automatic and that's the kind of things that I show in this course that how do you make this this big job which is really manual job like you know if you don't know how to do these things how do you make it automized so then you're sitting at home on the weekend or any other day you can finish this big job and all you have to do is send the report back and when the people come into your company they will have really nothing to find you know all they have to do is to pass your PCI compliance they'll say okay I can't really find anything there's no issues over here and maybe this was a specific uh, part of your job and you have done your job now maybe the issues are with switches routers maybe some other sites security coding and stuff like that they found some issues with that that's not your job maybe and then you can give that to the programmers that okay I've done my job that's your job now so at least you will be safe on, on your side um, so this is the information that I wanted to give you today uh, make sure you guys take this course make sure you just watch this video again and again if you don't understand just watch it one more time if you still didn't get this video then shoot me a message on the in the comment and I'll do a little demo then and then let's see if that makes much more sense because like I, like I said this video has a lot of pieces in it so it may not make sense to you so I apologize that in, in advance right now if it didn't make any sense I'll make another video but I hope uh, with this video you got something so I'll see you guys in a different video. Thank you and